Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Oh, what's up, everyone? We're back. Um, we recently attended Card Party Gen 2 in Orlando, Florida, and it was a lot of fun. Yes. <laughs> It was. Or not. No, I guess. it was. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> I definitely liked it. I think today we want to talk about was it worth it though? Right. Especially for you cuz you don't you're not a big Pokemon person. No, I'm not. I I threw her into this, so she's she was kind of along for the ride the second time. We did go last year to uh, to Anaheim and so obviously we had to go again this year and we're basically just, you know, here to share our experiences, what we went through, what happened, but you know, just I guess a general overall idea of what you're gonna get yourself into when you go to one of these events. And is it worth the money? And is it worth the money? So you wanna start off by telling them a little bit what is card party? For those who don't know, like me. I mean, you do know. Now I know, because I was there. Twice. Twice. So you do know, you knew before this. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, basically, Card Party uh, was put on by Pat Flynn, aka Deep Pocket Monster, and it's really an event for you know people who love Pokemon, who love trading, and to really kind of you know meet the creators of different YouTube channels, and, you know, say hi, um, kind of network a little bit, you know, make friends. Um, I mean, we've definitely made a few friends these past couple of events. Uh, it was really nice to see. Uh, some returning people from California, you know, some people you never thought you'd see again. And, you know, here we are living in New York and, you know, some people living in San Diego. You know who you are if you watch this. And uh, so it's cool to, you know, just catch up and then meet new people and have a lot of fun. So I know last year I was in Anaheim. This year was in Orlando. Yeah. For us East Coasters, so much easier to get there. A lot cheaper, too. And, you know, and I think what was nice for me is I have friends in Tampa, so I was able to do the Tampa visit, and then we did some Disney, Universal, and yep. then ended out in Card Party. And I don't know how people live in Florida, because it is disgustingly hot there. <laughs> My God, I almost passed out the first day, so that was a lot of fun. And then I think the Hilton that, that was, the hotel was out was at the Hilton Orlando. Yeah. Parking was not that expensive, because we were staying there, and we had a car. Yeah, was about... Fifteen dollars yeah, a night. Fifteen dollars a night, and then we were able to um, kind of like have the pool facility. So it was a lot nicer than last year. Last year the hotel had a smaller pool, and it wasn't really nice weather, so we couldn't even take no, advantage of it. It was like it. cloudy. It was like fall day. Fall, yeah. even though it was in June last year, it still felt like it was pretty cold out. So this year we actually got to enjoy the pool and you know it's nice because there's adult pools mm -hmm. the kid family pools the lazy river is okay but you know tons of kids but what do you expect at this event it did have the basketball court yes where you were able so to we did our unofficial official unofficial i don't know uh basketball it seems like a lot of people knew yeah <laughs> like creator basketball game um so that was that started at 11 it wasn't part it wasn't officially on the card party schedule but you know Pat Flynn was there, uh, Ryan, Vault, Rev, Shiny Vert, a lot of Pokemon Radar, and a ton of people were there, um, you know, just to play some pickup games, and uh, Pat, if you're watching this, uh, again, sorry that we lost the game by one point, um, I almost had a heart attack while playing, I, it was, again, disgustingly hot, and I had to, like, go inside and sit for, like, 40 minutes, maybe not, really, 20 minutes before I could go back up. But, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun playing with you. Uh, sorry I suck, but, you know, basketball's His not... His shoe came off, so... His shoe came off, almost <laughs> ripped my sock. It was it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, But, um, you know, that was fun, kind of gathering. And then after that, around, like, I want to say, like, 11.40 or so, uh, Cool Trainer Ryan played his game against Shiny Vert. Ryan won. Um, so I was showering and laying in bed at that point because, again, heat stroke is a real thing. <laughs> So I went to take a nap, and <laughs> at one point, I think you the check-in process was starting at like three o'clock and two o'clock. Two o'clock. Oh my gosh, two o'clock! And I ended up, we ended up splitting up. So we ended up upgrading next to VIP mm -hmm. because we did have friends that were in the VIP, and they kind of convinced us like, oh, it could be worth it. You'll be able to like have those meeting greets, and there was a couple of different areas mm -hmm. for just VIP, and you get really good swag. So instead of a backpack. Um, they got you like a little satchel that says card party. Um, I'm surprised it doesn't say two on there. 
you know, because last, like I said, last year was a backpack. I'm pretty sure it had the first edition symbol on here, so didn't even realize until now it doesn't say two. But inside there was uh, this binder, which a lot of people use to get signatures from different creators, you know, and also trade Pokemon cards. Uh, sticker sheet, and uh, it also came with this pin with the gold and silver, um, you know, teams, I guess, because this year it was Gen 2, and like Gen 2 in Pokemon, it was gold and silver. Um, actually, it's kind of funny. We were talking with uh, one of our friends, and they were like, oh, yeah, last year was Gen, you know, or, you know, red and blue because of Gen 1. I'm like, oh, right. <laughs> Gen 1 was red and blue. Like, it didn't, didn't even occur to us that it actually was the reason for that. And you also got a free T-shirt, like one she's wearing now. It's got, like, you know, different words and stuff. There's also, like, the generic like card party symbol on a couple of uh, t-shirts and stuff. Um, and I will say the bags were a really huge hit because a, a couple of our friends were able to carry like three. The backpacks? The yeah, yeah, the bags. Yeah, your check-in. Pretty much, yeah. And yeah, yours wasn't that long. My, the general admission was like all the way to the lobby of the convention, like from the convention center to the lobby and was probably was... like an hour long. Yeah, so that was a lot different than last year. They, um... Last year you walked in on Friday and you just basically went up to the table and you got your stuff. It was, well again, this was like at least double the size. So VIP, we still waited in line for like 30 minutes. I wasn't sure what was going on. There, you know, there's gonna be some kinks to work out, but I mean, definitely worth it at least to get your badges and stuff in VIP. Um, again, the price was around $400 for VIP. Still don't think it's that worth it, but I can dive into that later. So I ended up skipping the check-in process because I did see the line was an hour long and I was like, uh, I'll just go straight to the expo. So I went down yeah, to the expo and met right. you there. Yeah, and, and I guess nobody was checking badges because she just walked in. Like I know, I think later, like yeah, Saturday, yeah, they, yeah, they, did, they but, were like had people by the escalators, but like early on you could just kind of walk in. Um, and I was like pretty impressed. There's what, three expo halls? Was it three or two? There's two. like, it was like two and a half. So like, uh, I believe Expo Hall East had um, some vendors in there, but that's where the meet and greets were. Um, West, I think, I don't know, yeah. if not, it's the other way around, but it was the main floor. Um, that floor um, had so many different things, not just Pokemon cards, but you know, people selling their like creations. They had ladies selling per different types of perfume themed around like you know, Misty or... Uh, All anime. I think even there was yeah. a Mighty Granger one. There was yeah. one from it was called One Hermione. Piece. Yeah. yeah. And then there's also some stuff that you see and that you can't afford. <laughs> like, you know, base set booster boxes or heavy packs or whatever. Um, so, you know, just a lot of a lot of that stuff. A lot of graded cards. And CGC was there. CGC was there and so was PSA. They did their uh, on-site grading. Um I think they were, it was like 20 bucks if you were not uh, like a member for CGC to do on-site grading for normal day. And then the price is just kind of going up from there, like three tiers. Um, I was going to do it, but I, I didn't. <laughs> I just, the line was getting too long. I was like, I just didn't want to stand in there. The third hall, it was, that's where um, the trick shot challenge was, uh, the, the other pack battle station, and... Just a little, a couple of bit more vendors. Um, again, more of the same thing. Just graded cards or packs or, you know, whatever. Um, I did notice a lot of pr price competing with some other people. Like you, like Night Wanderer just came out, and there was, I think somebody had it for like 45, and then table around them had it for 36. So it was kind of like pretty nice actually to like get that stuff for cheap. I did buy, I did buy a box of Night Wanderer and 151 just to, you know. Have something to rip with some people there and that's it i didn't really buy much of anything else because we have to fly back to new york and it's like not worth it i guess i got stuff here so yeah and there wasn't much to do between check-in time and x ex the expo time so no we ended up just like kind of like hanging out the bar for a little bit until the yes. i mean sorry till the kickoff event happened yeah that so was once, at, yeah that was at like five five thirty five thirty so you had like three hours to you know, look around. And that was the big difference between this year and last year. Last year, the expo halls were not open on Friday. You couldn't buy anything on Friday, but this year uh, they changed it to all three days, which I thought was very nice. Um, 
like I said, there was as as the event went on, actually, I saw some prices go up. So if you're there early, you could actually get some cheaper product, which is pretty cool. Um, but I'm glad that they made that change with the expo hall. And the kickoff event was pretty good. Pat does a really good job emceeing and getting everyone riled up, I think. Yeah, he, like he, same thing. He was really good up there. Looks like he lost a little bit of weight as well. He looks, uh, looks a little bit more fit up there. Very fit. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he he, uh, you know, does a great job of like interacting with everybody and like getting them all pumped up. Um, and then from there, they just kind of like introduced some of the featured creators. Did a I don't remember if they did an interview. They must have done. They did a little interview, so I think what they started off was telling us the different teams, the way the pointing system's gonna work, which was a little bit different than last year during the battles. Yeah, the, the pack battles were a lot more organized this year. Instead of having like a station where everybody just like kept ripping and like doing whatever, you know, it's like it all based, was based on hits. It was like one point for just like a regular EX, and then, you know, the higher the rarity, the more points you got for your team. Um, so that was good, and then you could just go to like the station, open it, and then whoever was working the station would check the price uh, or check the points system. Um, definitely a lot more organized, and they had, uh, like I said, another like part in the expo hall where the creators were battling for points, and they were on certain teams. And it was teams. like all day, like from yeah. the minute it started to the minute. The well, I think it was like twelve o'clock they started. Oh, really? Yeah, it I wasn't like in the morning. It was just like there were so many creators. I was like, I couldn't yeah, keep track. Yeah, there was of a lot of featured creators. Um, to me, it felt like you know some of them were more featured than others, but you know you got to bring out the big guys. You know that's what a lot of people are there to see are the bigger YouTubers, and I understand it completely. I I do want to say one of the things that I love that Pat does always is he talks about the inclusivity of the event and like how. It, everyone's there to build friends, to make friendships and things like that. And I think mm -hmm. that's a really important thing. And just kind of like how he brought up like people being like bullied and stuff like that and just to be kind to each other. And I feel like he was really big on that last year and that was a continued theme. Yeah, he's always year. like that. Yeah, he's always yeah. he's always been like that. Although we did have one kid get scammed, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how that happened. So whoever did that, <laughs> nice. Um, I guess not as bad as the uh, Team Rocket booster box being stolen last year. <laughs> Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Um, that was uh, pretty much it for day one. There wasn't really, like, panels. Um, yeah. And then after that was, like, the whole bar scene, and that got crazy. <laughs> yeah, but that was fun because so last year, um, we don't have kids. No. And we're very much adult and want to hang out with other adults. So... Um, I think at the bar last year there was so many kids and we couldn't like have conversations with people and get to meet other people because it was just so overwhelming and this year it was like very much like the bar scene was for the adults to like get yeah. to know each other and I got to talk to so many people because like if you were a creator you wore the blue bat the lanyard lit blue lanyard and so it was easy to like find people and ask them like hey what's your channel what do you guys do what's it like mm -hmm. so I had a lot of fun chit chatting with so many people um and then we just we made new friends yeah too yeah. so that was really cool yep it was i mean that's really what the event's about right okay. friday night was a little wild friday night was wild uh like, so <laughs> i wasn't able to wake no. up saturday um no. i could not make the morning event um could not get out of the bed okay yeah. um but nick did and he got to see the yeah we jumped yeah i jumped out of bed and Got down there at nine o'clock when the uh, Saturday show started. Um, I'm trying to think of what happened. That was the getting when they announced the Guinness record. How we were oh, going to do right. something a little yes. different. Oh right, yes. So they were doing uh, it's called Vlad for the Guinness Book of World Records. It was uh, having fifteen hundred different people put in a cart and a binder for in eight hours. Um, so that was yep from nine until the night show, which was at. Seven, I think seven o'clock is when the night show was. They did uh, more pack battles with uh, everybody. They brought up some like different games to play for your teams. I guess that Pokemon or um, I believe Pokemon and Possum Bud did like a little drawing contest. <laughs> um, so like a lot of trivia stuff and a lot of um, hey, who's gonna 
get more points for their team. So after the main thing on Saturday, they had these Gashapon pod things. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Anyway, um, they had Suiku, Entei, and Raikou little things like these, like necklaces, and they also had like a 102 or 1 in 250 chance of getting a gold medal thing, and that was your chance to go up on stage and pack battle for your team. So that was definitely different than last year where it was, I think they spun a wheel, and if you got caught up, then you could go. Um, this was more like a, you know, chance thing or like, you know, but at least you get something out of it, you know, at least you got like a little necklace. Um, but, you know, absolutely lucky to get up there. There were some people didn't show up. So, you know, he just found some people in the audience who were for that team and, you know, fixed it immediately. So there wasn't like really any gap into the whole pack battle thing. But the other thing that happened on Saturday at night was we had our very first card party proposal uh, with Ian. With Ian. Um, he was doing the giveaways with people. Um, the giveaways were done a lot better, but I'll get into that after. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, we, they did the giveaways and nobody saw this coming. Ian proposed and it was pretty awesome. Like everyone was like obviously surprised with it. Let's go, So congrats, Ian, again. Um, yeah, congratulations. <laughs> and then else? I think after that, there wasn't too many pan. I felt like last year there was a little bit more panels or like discussions. This yeah. year we just had that one for, it was like for the YouTube creators, but it was amazing. It was hosted by yeah, Pat, Pat. Pat and, um, sorry, I can't remember the, the other guy. He works with Pat. He's the producer, yeah. Producer. He's producer. And, um, you know, they, I think they did a really good job of like, kind of telling you what works how to like analyze your data on youtube and you know creating titles what thumbnails work mm -hmm. and you know how they how they got to where they are today and it's definitely made us look at my channel and be like what can we do to improve and so we're going to be trying to be doing different things here on this channel uh and you know, hopefully we can find something that works. And really about finding your own voice. That's mm -hmm. that's that was really the main main thing. And then after that, though, not much happened until the nighttime show. Yeah, that was the nighttime show where they. I don't want it's. It all blends together. That wasn't the it binder, all, right? Binder challenge was no, Sunday. Binder challenge was Sunday morning. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it does all. <laughs> it does all blend together. It's a. Uh, crazy time but i think after the saturday night event we did we went right into the trade yeah event which was really fun to see all the kids like kind of just gathering around <laughs> and trading yeah and i will tell you i know i'm not a pokemon person but <laughs> i do want to build a trade binder out of all of your extras that in the next year yeah. I can show up and I can at least trade, okay? Because I can, I can no, do that. No, because she's not going to know what anything's worth, and it's. I'm gonna <laughs> give things away. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's like, if it's worth thirty dollars, you can't give it away. So you have to give me some pricing, <laughs> so that way I don't. But yeah, I mean that's one thing I definitely gotta do is uh, bring a trade binder and you know interact with more people. And because again, I, I've never like really traded it's either like selling or just buying singles. So that's like something new to me and i notice how like you know a lot more people are doing it and getting into it so it's that's one of the things that i need to learn how to do i guess essentially but the thing was with the trade night it was like you know they had pat he did they opened up two uh team up booster boxes so four thousand dollars down the drain and um that was fun they were doing like the little live on drip and you know a lot of people were watching that other than that um it just seemed like a normal trade night last year it i guess there, <sighs> last year was a lot more fun and i'll just say because once again not a pokemon person don't mm -hmm. trade they had little activities for us so like there was a lot more sponsors so remember i won that slab in, yeah like, so like they had in. like a little mini bar in the corner it's like if you bought a certain drink you could put in like a like a sticker machine and if you pulled something then you get like a mystery box and um you know that was again geared towards more adults but i think i mean obviously everybody went to the bar after the trade night yeah. and so 
and maybe that's why they didn't do it was because they knew people would go to the bar and they knew it's going to be separated um but that went on until 10 and then they just shut it down like the the hotel shut it down for some reason because they're very strict about the time yeah, it was 10 it, o'clock and they came walking in and was like okay leave now yeah pretty much <laughs> We did the pool. We did the, we did a bunch yeah, of stuff on Saturday, yeah, and then we were just really tired by Saturday everyone, night. Everyone, everyone, and it's not just me. I mean, like the creators, we, you could tell they were so. We're just tired. like starting to die out a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a long three days. But we had a lot of fun on Saturday night too. We opened boxes with some friends. Yeah, we opened up some more boxes. And then um, um, went to bed not really early, like but around eleven. Eleven, and then the uh, Friday night was like three thirty in the morning. So yeah, so early. <laughs> And then I guess um, the next day was Sunday. And- Sunday, yeah. Sunday, Sunday was um, the morning show. He did a Pat did a binder challenge with Rev. Um, and then I would say the highlight of the actual event would have been uh, Real Breaking Nate hosting for about thirty minutes because Pat was gone with Rev doing their binder challenge. But uh, it, it okay. he just seemed so natural up there. Like it was really funny. You know, he was joking making people sing blink 182 <laughs> and like, where are you and uh and he just did a really good job yeah. he was engaging with the audience and with the creators that were on there so i think they did a really good job at yeah. like answering questions and like he was just like right on point with all of his mm-hmm. jokes uh and so the giveaways this year that was a, another major change is we got rid of snorlax time uh thank god because those kids were are relentless uh, they even still kind of storm stage a little bit after some pack battles because the creators were giving them out to kids. But um, this year, you know, a lot, they tried to keep it like a little bit more tame. Um, I made a joke where I was like, oh, kids were killing kids. And his kids turned around. He's like, kids were killing kids. I'm like, no. <laughs> the mom was not happy with your <laughs> response on that. Yeah, it was just kind of like, you know, scan a QR code. And if you got picked, you were, your name was in the envelope. And... I did feel like there wasn't as many giveaways. But I don't know if that was just my... I think there was more. Really? If you take away Snorlax time, there was more. Yeah, but I mean with Snorlax. Because Snorlax time, they were giving out some really cool stuff. Yeah, they were giving like graded cards and ETBs and stuff. Yeah, and we didn't really have that much more, I would say. No, because they did like one in the morning, one at night. And that's kind of like that was their formula for the event was one in the morning, one at night. Kind of, I guess, to make it more even, split it up, I guess. Um, so every time you had to scan the QR code for either morning or night, if even if you were there in the morning, you had to scan at night. Um, oh, so then with um, Real Breaking Nate, one of the things that I loved was he was like, we had our first proposal and we're going to have our oh. first divorce because him and Murray were just having like really funny banter back and forth about yeah. do they subscribe to each other and <laughs> things like that. And it was, it was just really yeah. organic and sweet moment. Yeah. So card party. Uh, I think next year he should have his own panel. Yeah. <laughs> have have Nate do his own like I talk show. I think he should have everybody. his own panel like every like <laughs> t- at least three times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah. So then after the binder, you know, Pat and Rev came back and the audience got to vote to see who was the best. And well, the binder that you chose to give away tonight in our grand prize finale is Pokemon. <laughs> Show, there was like a couple panels uh, we missed out I, it was Pat and, the, and his producer again from the night before I might have been the same YouTube thing I'm not sure I didn't look at the schedule um, so anyway after the morning show you know I did a little meet and greet with Nate and Marie after that um, they had, I feel like they had a lot more people doing meet and greets this year which was you know nice you know you know may not big as be as big as somebody else so it's nice to have some other people there um, and then we kind of did the expo hall there was a uh, behind the scenes uh with deep pocket monster at 11 and then after that was the r rated pack battle with possum bug cool trainer ryan rev and sean as well as gonzo um well i guess rev wasn't technically part of it he was on stage at one point but it was he wasn't mic'd he was up. there he was not mic'd up no um so that was kind of fun to watch them you know yell at each other and <laughs> say some other stuff uh we had some kids in there and then 
So it was kind of kind of weird. Uh, some kind of that... awkward because there's some things that you <laughs> don't want to say in front of children. But... but there's a warning that says don't bring your kids. So yeah. I wouldn't feel bad. Unfortunately, we couldn't stay for the closing ceremony because we had to go catch our flight back to New York. But um, uh, obviously... I uh, read that team gold won. So again, that's 2-0 and for me. Uh, last year it was on red and we won. And now I'm wearing the gold the gold jersey. So there we go. I was on silver. You are on <laughs> silver. So again, no, she's 0-2. Oh and and we got the, got the bracelet and everything. But yeah, overall, uh, we had a really fun experience. You know, it was pretty fun to bring people up there and, you know, interact with the different people, you know, different creators. And again, it's all about, you know, integrating everybody and having a good time so i would say overall for me definitely worth it even though i am not a no. pokemon person at all she's still learning i'm still learning still after my, a year and a half my goal this year is to figure out what the difference is between a secret art rare and an art rare and being able to kind of pick them out of a pack yeah so we'll see if i can get there um i know it tells you yeah <laughs> I just want to be able to look though. That's how you do it. I know. I know. Um, and then I think for me, it's all about like the connections you make. That means a lot to me. So like, even though I don't know anything, the people are so nice to me and generous and just really yeah. like welcoming to the community. So if I don't know something, I'm not being like, I don't know, no one's making fun of me. Everyone's just like, oh, tell us what you know, what you don't know. How can we help you? Or, you know, just understanding where I'm coming from. So that's always really nice. And we meet so many great people. I think yeah. we have um, we have a couple of friends that, like I say, this is our family vacation now <laughs> because this is the second time we went and we ended up meeting up with them early. And I was like, this mm -hmm. is, card party is our family vacation now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And like I said, you, you know, meet new people. And this year I met creators that I didn't meet last year. So it was nice to like, you know, have some variety and meet them and, you know, got a lot more signatures this year too. So still, still a very fun time. And um, I would say general mission, worth it. Mm -hmm. VIP, unless they really change it up for next year, I would say the swag was great. Like I yeah. thought getting the extra swag was great. Was it worth $400? I'm not. It, it depends, right? So I've, I kind of had like a little epiphany, right? It was for what you get, no, but it really is like you're there to support Pat and the whole card party team. And, you know, obviously they put in a lot of effort making this event for everybody. And so the VIP is kind of like, I guess, a little extra thank you to them for putting this on and having everybody meet up and, you know, making new connections. And, you know, there are definitely like going to be some improvements uh, for next year that we are going to discuss as well but that will be in the next video um so, so. be sure to stay tuned in for that um she's got a thousand ideas and she's pestered them before yeah last year i think i wrote um a three-page email on all of my recommendations <laughs> Um, so I have a background intense, intense. In, in events, so I take this very um, seriously and I want to make sure that I'm giving some good advice to everyone. I don't think they care, but, or not care. They, they, I mean, they take into They did, so I will say that all of the, all of the recommendations I gave them last year, I want to say maybe 95% of them, they listened, they responded to me, and this year was even better, so I just cannot wait until next year. And I would love Oh, right. And that's the other thing. So there's two card parties next year, in case you haven't heard. One in Tampa and one in Pacific Northwest. And, you know, we don't know the location yet. I'm assuming Seattle would probably be up there. Um, you know, we don't know. But that's that's my guess. That's our guess is mm -hmm. going to be Seattle. Um, but, yeah, two card parties. And I think that's really to accommodate East Coast and West Coast, you know, which is which is nice. We'll see. We'll see in the future. So our next video will have my top, I'll keep it to top three um, <laughs> recommendations for next time. Yeah. And um, and things that we maybe didn't get to spend a lot of time on in this video, right? Yeah. Also, lastly, um, we're engaged. Oh, right. <laughs> this was before, before <laughs> card party. Before card party, <laughs> we're engaged on so, now, so. Yeah, 
Yay. Yay. So now <laughs> we got to plan a wedding. We got to go to a card party oh twice. We got a lot of things we got to do this year. This going to be busy. <laughs> like we said, there's going to be different different things, different ideas happening with this channel. And, um, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see it from here. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, be sure to subscribe and, you know, hit that bell for the next video where we discuss what little, you know, improvements there could be and uh, or what was done right. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. See ya. Card party. Welcome to the show at Card Party. Where everybody knows shiny cardboard rules, modern and vintage too. All ages can be seen at the convention scene at Card Party. We're here to have some fun at Card Party. We're fans of number one. Meet the creators and make some new friends. Open some packs and get jammed in towns at Car Party! Car Party! It's the coolest place to be at Car Party! A place for you and me! We're playing all day and we party all night when you come to the show everything is all right at card party